So sure enough, I had done work. I've been working on this for about two hours, um, trying to get day 20 here. Um, I had recorded the whole thing and basically I'd given up because I couldn't get it. And sure enough, as soon as I give up, turn off recording and stop the recording, I have another good idea. And of course I then solve it. So today's video is going to be a bit different because I'm not going to be showing you anything of any video of what I was doing to solve it because it was all irrelevant and way over complicated. Instead, I'm just going to explain how I did day 20 part one. It's only part one. I did not get part two. I'm not even going to try part two. Part two is just a whole nother level um, that my example or my uh, solution doesn't even solve. So at any rate, yeah, I way over complicated the beginning of it. I guess spent two hours trying to do it. It's actually not nearly that hard to get part one. All you need to do for part one is you just need to find the four corners. To find the four corners, you just need to find the four tiles that have two edges that do not match to any other edge. And the, we, the way this trick works is because this generates a square grid in the end. When you connect these all together, you get a perfectly square grid. Therefore, you're only going to have four corners possible and a corner versus you, the border only have one edges, but the corners have two edges that do not touch anything else. So using that logic, we can then simply read all our tiles in um, with this code I did up here. So I just read all the tiles in, read into a tile data wrapper class, made my life easier. And then what I do is I go through every single tile. I then go through every single tile again, and I just immediately try and match the first tile to any edge of the tile we just got. So um, in this case, we have I have top edge, bottom edge, left and right edge. What I do is I have the strings match um, method here, which basically what it does is it just takes the strings, it tests them if they are equal straight up or if they are equal with one reversed. Um, that that handles the the flipping um, of it. And the way we handle rotation is I just check any edge. So I take the top edge against the bottom, top, left, and right edge. Basically every edge is tested against every other edge. And if it's a corner piece, that edge will only match, um, or that that piece will have two edges that don't match any other edge anywhere else. That's how I solve this. Um, I just a little trick that I have these four booleans, so this is the top edge, left edge, bottom edge, right edge. I do the four checks. If any of them match anywhere, these get set to true. That means this edge matches another one just straight up. And then the very end, when we finish iterating through every other tile in the list, we check how many of the booleans have not been set to true. Um, Java doesn't have a way to just add booleans together, so I have to do this little magic trick here. Basically, if the boolean is true, we don't add anything, but if it's false, we do add something because false means it does not match anything else. And then in the end, if we add them all up, we only get two. That means it's a corner piece, and then we just simply multiply it onto our answer, and at the very end, we output our answer. And it looks something like this. So with this, you can also figure out which ones are the edge pieces. Those are gonna be the ones that have a count equal to one. And then the internal pieces are gonna be the ones that have count equal to zero. So you do have the basis to start part two, which is just throwing out all the ones that have a count of one or two, but I don't have anything to actually then physically connect them together. Um, I probably could. If the question did stop there, I probably would have gone with it. But the fact that then as you can find sea monsters like all right we're i'm done i'm not going to continue on with this so hopefully this exam hopefully my explanation here made sense i try to explain as best i could again i this i'm like over two this is 2 16 in the morning for me so i've been over two hours doing this so my brain and head are a little bit of mush but hopefully my late night brain was still good enough to help explain how i did this one how I was able to make part one work and how it's actually not that bad once you know the trick to finding what it's asking, even though it doesn't help you at all for part two. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That's all for me for day 20. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for day 21. Peace out.